was just talking to a client who was feeling really, really stuck. She had a list of like 30 things that needed to get done and she was feeling completely paralyzed. And she was like, help, what do I do? And you know, to me, I look at her list and I'm like, well, you know what to do, right? But this happens. It happens that sometimes we just get so overwhelmed and we have so much to do and it's very difficult. It's like our, our brain turns off, like our logic turns off and it can't figure out what's the next thing we need to do? What is it that I need to focus on? I don't know. And this is where I want to implement a tool I call rocking. So when I'm working with people in person, it is very normal to feel overwhelmed. Like I will get messages from people days or weeks leading up to when I'm going to be there organizing with them. And they're just like, I am freaking out. And I get it because it's very intense. It's an intense process. It's emotional. There's so many layers there. It is a big deal. So when we are organizing our stuff, it's very common for our brain to just poof, go offline and suddenly we're overwhelmed and we're looking at this giant list of stuff and we have no idea what to do. So what we're going to do is work on rocking. So when we think about rocking, we think about like a baby, right? It's like I'm rocking a baby to make them more comfortable, to get them to fall asleep, to be at peace, right? We want that ease. That's kind of like what we're doing. So let me explain what rocking is. Rocking is the process of taking yourself or someone else through several different motions in order to get some sort of movement happening. So when we're looking at our giant list of tasks, we're like, I have to do so much. And you might be thinking actually of all the task management wisdom you've ever been given. Eat that frog, do the hardest thing first, like dig in there. And then you feel the pressure of like, oh, this has a deadline and this is this. And that can just be so overwhelming. And again, stops us. So what rocking is, is you're going to pick something easy. Look at that list. Is there something physical that you can do that just feels effortless? Like almost, maybe it feels like it's not even worth doing. It's just too simple. It's too simple to start. It's not the most important thing. I don't need to do it. That's the thing you need to start with. Rocking is starting out with something super easy. Make it so simple you could do it with your eyes closed. Then you can do something harder, right? Then do the thing, maybe, that you do not want to do. And that's the tricky part. So when you're setting yourself up to do this easy thing first, and with all of these things that I'm about to tell you, you want to set a timer. You do not want your brain to take over and say, I've got this because your brain is offline. It does not have this. It is not keeping score. It is not keeping track. It does not know what's going on. So what you want to do is you want to set a timer. So you look at that task and you think, well, how long is this super easy thing going to take me? Well, I think it's going to take me five minutes. Great. Set a timer for five minutes. Do, do, do. You finish early. No problem. You reset the timer. It takes you longer, no problem, reset the timer. I'm gonna give myself another five minutes because part of the organizing process is starting to learn how long things actually take us to do and we have to practice to get there. You're not just gonna be born knowing that, you're gonna have to practice. So, okay, so you do this easy thing. Next thing you do, you're gonna do the hardest thing, the thing you don't wanna do, the thing that makes you wanna like puke a little bit. And again, set a timer. How long do you think that's gonna take? At least, and if it's a big project, we don't wanna do the whole thing, maybe just take the first action. Okay, it's gonna take me three minutes to make a phone call to get the bit of information before I can move on to the next thing. Great, so do that thing next. Now you're gonna flip back when you're done with that, do something easy, do something medium then, then do something easy, maybe two easies, then a hard, right? What we're doing is we're rocking back and forth, easy to hard easy to hard. And what we're doing when we do that, and I, I swear, I'm sure I've talked about this before because I feel like I use this technique all the time with people and myself. When we are in a state of feeling paralyzed and overwhelmed with too much to do, what we want to do is give ourselves some sort of entry. And I was thinking about this when I did a self-defense class. And they say that if you're being attacked, one of the most important things for you to do is to say anything right? You walk by, someone starts catcalling you instead of freezing and shutting down, saying, I don't know this guy in the red shirt, back off. And all you've really done is opened your mouth and you've avoided the freeze response. And so that's kind of what we're doing. We're avoiding the freeze response that happens with our clutter by choosing something easy, right? Like you're choosing something simple, something that you can like bite your teeth into. So you're going to do the easy thing. You're going to do the hard thing. You're going to switch back to an easy thing. Maybe you're going to do a medium thing, easy thing again maybe another easy thing. You just want to flip back and forth. And what ends up happening is you are going to get into the zone. Because when you are looking at that giant list, 
you can't do it all at once. You certainly can. And you don't even have access to the logical part of your brain that's going to tell you the most important thing to do. You are just stuck. So we want to get you out of that. So we do that by rocking. And then once your brain is back online, once you can feel your focus starting to come in, once you can feel yourself dialing in, then, then you can stop if you want to and make a plan. Okay, great. Here's the priority that I need to do these things in. This is what I need to do first. Okay, great. This happens before that. You can totally get logical once you get your brain back online. What we're trying to do is get you out of the free state, move you into action, and ideally have you enter a state of flow that does not feel painful or challenging to get there. And a lot of times people who get stuck, we get stuck because we have these lofty expectations of what we should be doing. We might have a little bit of perfectionist inside, right? And that's fine. I totally get it. You are not alone in that case, right? But what we need to do is step away from our perfectionist. What we need to do is step into cadence with our flow, which comes from like, what feels possible? What is open for me? Where do I feel like I can take action and it doesn't feel like a root canal without Novocaine? That's what we're looking for. In and out, easy to hard. And that is going to kind of get you back in the flow, get your brain online. Try this, see if it works for you. Leave me a comment, let me know how it goes. I am very happy to have you here. If you want more organizing wisdom, subscribe below. I would be overjoyed to experience this journey with you.